hey guys what's up welcome back to another episode of it's about everything so in today's episode i'm going to show you how you can quickly cure a standard epoxy adhesive that normally takes 8 to 10 hours to cure so here i have araldite which is manufactured in india and it's a two-part epoxy adhesive and this pack is really old you can see on the on the date section manufacture date july 2012 which is manufactured about uh, seven years ago so here you can see all the informations written and one of the important information written here is clamp the joint overnight as light sets which means that it cures overnight or 8 to 10 hours so we are going to uh, show you a technique where you can cure it in uh, less than half an hour in 15 to 20 minutes okay so here are the tubes so this pack was never used because I was using the fast curing epoxy from another brand but sometimes I do use this one as well so here I'm going to make two samples and I will take equal amount of each tube in each of these piece of papers and then I'm going to mix it. I'm going to keep one sample for drying in or for curing in room temperature and I'm going to use my SMD rework station heat gun on the other one. So here you can see I'm taking equal amount of resin and hardener so the blue one is the resin and the white tube is the hardener so here I wrote sample 1 and sample 2 okay so let's mix it so properly mixing is important here otherwise it will not cure properly so in fast curing epoxy when you mix it in large quantities it actually undergoes an exothermic reaction where it gives out heat and this heat actually makes it to dry faster so fast curing epoxy compound or epoxy adhesives when you mix them in large quantity it becomes really difficult to work with them so it is recommended to use in smaller quantities every time you mix them but here it's a slow speed slow curing epoxy it's not fast curing so you can mix large quantities but external uh, if you apply external heat then it will cure fast as well okay so it's properly mixed so before applying the heat I'm going to use my Apple watch to track the time so actually it's not an apple watch it's an apple clock you can say or eye clock so here you can see both of these samples are still in liquid shape and it's only uh, been 30 seconds since I have mixed it so here is the Apple watch I was Apple clock I was talking about you can see right now this is the Apple clock yes I know you might be thinking something else but this Apple clock is much expensive than the real Apple thing because Steve Jobs didn't had a bite on this Apple Okay, so let's get back to the topic okay so here I have kept sample 1 for drying in room temperature and sample 2 for this SMD rework station blower so I'm going to use the lowest setting in this blower where I can keep my hand close to it so about one inch away from the blow gun I can feel about uh, same temperature as a cup of tea uh, after about 10 minutes of making 
so right next to the tip the temperature is close to about 50 or maybe 60 degrees but one inch away I can feel just as warm as a cup of tea so you can track the time on the Apple watch sorry Apple clock So if you don't have a hot gun or this type of blowers, you can use a hair dryer. This will work as well. It might take 5 or 10 minutes more and if you don't have a hair dryer, you can use an incandescent uh, bulb, normal light bulb. And you can make a cardboard box and you can use it as an oven so that it becomes a little bit warm inside where you can keep your uh, item that you want to uh, glue together with epoxy and it will cure much faster so here I have increased the playback time so it completely starts solidifying after about 10 minutes of 40 degrees Celsius 40 to 50 degrees Celsius So here it's almost dry and you can see it's been like 13 to 14 minutes so I constantly checked the temperature in my hand and it was close to 30 or 40 uh, sorry 40 to 50 degrees Celsius no more than that so here you can see it's completely dry and solid as it's supposed to be after about 10 hours So here it completely solidified. Okay, so let's have a look at the sample one which we kept for drying in room temperature. So here you can see it's still liquid, almost viscous liquid. It's not solid yet. It will start become a little bit tacky or a little bit of sticky type of epoxy compound formation after about uh, 3 or 4 hours and it will take 8 to 10 hours in uh, fully curing becoming fully solid. So this is the piece you can see it's completely solid I used my screwdriver and I also used to pick with my nail and it's really solid so it took about 14 minutes to completely cure it at about 40 degrees celsius so if you make an oven with cardboard cardboard or any co any any type of clothes uh, compartment where you can use an incandescent bulb to produce the heat closer to about 50 60 degrees celsius even the temperature if it's close to 40 35 or 40 degrees celsius then also it will cure uh, much faster it will take about two hours but here I used the heat gun which is close to about 50 or 40 50 or maybe 60 I didn't measure the temperature but it's maybe it's close to 50 or 60 degrees because as I have felt the warm air which was hitting it and then it was hitting my hand so it felt like 50 degrees Celsius maybe 40 or 50 degrees So this is how you can fully cure any type of epoxy compound or epoxy adhesive that is not fast curing. So I'm going to write on the side fast curing with heat. So th this was it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so then hit the like button, share it with your friends and if you are new subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.